Don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. This comment comes from one of our viewers. Here it is. In a previous post, you said you run older male and younger male in the same breeding pen. Every time I've tried this, they try to kill each other. So what's the secret to having two cocks in the same pen without one of them getting killed or beat to a pulp? It's always tricky when you have more than one male in a pen. We've had five black shoulders in one pen and the reason they're in there is because I can't turn them loose because of a coyote problem and a bobcat problem here on our farm. So I have to put up with that. Eventually I'm going to turn them loose but then I have to be outside watching them. So they seem to get along and once in a while they have fights and sometimes the more males I have in a pen, the better it is. This pen with five males, they all seem to have a pecking order. And I did a video some time ago about that pecking order of me putting the bed one at a time in the right order. But to get your birds used to it, you might have to put something in the pen when they're fighting to distract them. I always like to get a small piece of oat straw big enough to get their attention and they can go there and peck at it and that might give them something to divert their attention to that rather than the other bird. But sometimes you may not have any other choice but then to move that bird to a different pen for the safety of the bird. Hopefully as the bird gets older since the young bird is not kind of a threat to the older bird but he's maybe an annoyance kind of like an older brother getting mad at a younger brother in human life well maybe this is the same thing so that's something I would try to do but you might have to move one into a different pen give it a try watch it give them some treats some snacks do some things to divert the birds we spend a lot of time with our birds and we have a lot of time to do that but most people don't so the simplest way is remove the one bird and have him ready as a backup in case something happens to your older male. The younger bird of one year old is not going to be of any help in your breeding situation until he gets to be two years old. So that's what I would do. I hope that helps. Thanks for viewing. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.